What do you think is the most important resource in League of Legends? Gold? Nope. Experience? Nope. It's actually concentration or focus. Everyone has equal time and how you choose to spend that time in game will determine your success. If everyone has equal time, then the ability to extract more good information in a short amount of time is what makes you a great player. Knowing what is important and at what time takes a lot of experience and critical thinking, but players who have spent their life mastering this skill will feel like they have an information superhighway in their brain and everyone else is running on a one-way road. Dr. Issa here again, and this is the second video in the series where we cover the concept of how players make decisions and how we can understand that more fully with eye tracking. Last time we focused on tunnel vision, and today we're gonna to focus on information processing. Put simply, information processing is how quickly you can gather and assimilate information and then use it to make good decisions, resulting in net positive actions. With so much going on in League, if you guess that this is the core skill pros have that you don't, you would be right. Let's dig a little deeper. In League of Legends, everyone starts with equal resources, and then players can distinguish themselves by what they do with their initial gold and rune setup to gain an edge by ironically gaining even more resources, namely experience and gold. But the most important resource is the one people don't pay attention to, concentration. Imagine that your y-axis is information and your x-axis is time. The area under this line would be the total amount of info retained by an average player. The area under this line would be the information retained by a good player, almost twice as much. And this is how much a great player would retain, almost four times as much as a good player. To more fully understand this, let's break down all the different areas that give you info in League of Legends. The play area, the minimap, the cooldowns, the tab screen, the target selected, the score, the timers, and the chat. Now, let's watch a few videos, and in the first video, we will see a challenger player heavily engaged in combat. You can see that their vision is shifting between multiple areas rapidly, all while doing a great job in the fight. Let's switch the perspective to a not so great player. You can see that they are not able to do anything but focus on the event at hand, specifically their character and the character they are fighting. We measure and define a player's ability to focus on one thing for a fixed period of time, a fixation. Better players cycle through more fixations every minute and hence absorb more information and make better decisions. Now that you have a clearer picture of what sets you apart from the better players, how do you start climbing that mountain? Small steps. Everyone can make it to the top if they climb at their own pace. Let's start with what allows players to store and recall information so efficiently. Well, it's an ability cognitive scientists have called chunking. If you've ever memorized a phone number or a pin, you know that your brain doesn't actually remember every digit of the number. It remembers the entire thing as one piece of information and is able to recall that instantly. This is extremely well studied, especially in chess players, where players can memorize the entire board state and can instantly recall what has happened and what should happen. In fact, if you present a chess player with an unrealistic board state that is completely random, then they are as bad as the average player in making decisions. League isn't too far off. Experts don't look at the mini map as different pieces of information. Instead, they immediately recognize the game state and identify which lanes are pushing, which objectives are up, who has vision control, what each team's win condition is, and where each player is on their power spike curve. Most of us struggle to remember just one of these things when we check the mini map. Most of us just check to see if a player is missing. This didn't happen overnight for those players. It took many days of learning and actively searching for these specific pieces of information to get a feel for things like wind condition or vision control. If you aren't already, start paying attention to these things every game. Ask yourself every game what the answers to those questions are. Soon enough, it'll become second nature and you will get faster and faster. To add on to this, start familiarizing yourself with what to look for outside the game. Don't know what to look for? Check out some of our videos from our Academy series and partners like Skillcap. Once you're comfortable knowing what to look for, start looking for it during the game. At the beginning, it will be hard because you're not used to that, but you have to push yourself a little more than you're used to every game or you'll never improve. If you don't start checking the map more and more and the tab screen more and more and asking the right questions, you'll never get there. This week, we covered information processing, but next week, we're gonna talk about map awareness and how you can level up that aspect of your game. What should you be looking for? How, when, 
where? Come back next time and find out.